So, recently there's been a lot of interest in Linux phones, and I think one of the more promising Linux mobile operating systems is Ubuntu Touch. But with the increase in popularity of mobile Linux operating systems, a lot of people are wondering why they should switch to them. Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you five reasons to switch to Ubuntu Touch, right now on the Linux Lounge. So the first reason to switch to Ubuntu Touch is that it's completely community driven, which brings with it a huge amount of advantages. The first of which really is that the software is developed for and by the community, which means Ubuntu Touch is really made to match the needs of the people who are using it. You'll never be abused by the software because it's made by the people who use it. Additionally, if you switch to Ubuntu Touch, you'll have a strong community to join if you decide to. This means you'll have easy access to support and other things if you need it. As well as that, the community makes a lot of things for Ubuntu Touch, not just the operating system itself. For instance, there's an app store on Ubuntu Touch that's filled with high quality software that's developed by the people who love the Ubuntu Touch operating system just as much as you do. So all in all, Ubuntu Touch offers a fantastic community that really makes using Ubuntu Touch a pleasure, and honestly, it's worth switching just for the community alone. Certainly, it feels better than using something that's, you know, made by by some soulless company like, you know, Google or Apple. Ubuntu Touch really is a labor of love made by the community for the community. The next reason to switch to Ubuntu Touch is that it's a very privacy respecting operating system, as one would expect for something based on GNU slash Linux. Ubuntu Touch isn't harvesting your data or anything like that because as I previously said, they essentially are the community making an operating system for the community, not some big company who wants to steal your data. Also, speaking of companies that want to harvest your data, Ubuntu Touch is a really good way to get away from them. The operating system is completely free and open source and as are most of the apps that run on it. That means that there aren't loads of companies all grabbing your data because you're running their proprietary apps. Now true, you could de-google Android and use free and open source software on there and have much the same amount of privacy that you would have on Ubuntu Touch, but I'd argue that with Ubuntu Touch you're completely freeing yourself from Google and other big companies and have a wide array of apps at your disposal that will definitely work without the Google services. So all in all, if you're the kind of person who's worried about their privacy, Ubuntu Touch might just be the mobile operating system for you. The next sort of selling point of Ubuntu Touch really is that it just works. Much like iOS or something, for example. It's easy to install and you can do that with a simple installer, no messing around with custom recoveries or anything like that. Once it's installed, no further maintenance is needed and updates are pushed out to your device without messing around with any custom recovery or anything. You could honestly probably put Ubuntu Touch on someone's phone who doesn't really know what they're doing and they would probably be fine if they have very limited needs that were met by the Ubuntu Touch operating system. Additionally, the operating system itself and the apps that run on it tend to be really stable and work really well with the operating system. So all in all, if you're looking for an easy to use operating system, Ubuntu Touch might be the operating system for you. And the next reason to use Ubuntu Touch is that it's incredibly polished. The operating system looks absolutely amazing. It has a really clean and consistent design, even between apps, which is something that can't be said for iOS and especially Android. Additionally, the OS is built from the ground up to be intuitive. Navigation around the OS feels really smooth and you could easily do it with one hand. It really is the easiest mobile operating system that I've ever seen to navigate. Second, maybe to Sailfish OS. Additionally, the OS doesn't reinvent the wheel and add loads of unnecessary bloat, so it's not filled with loads of unnecessary features that get in the way and slow the device down. Consequently, the OS is very lightweight, minimal, easy to navigate, and it runs great on pretty much all devices. So if you're looking for a polished mobile operating system, Ubuntu Touch is definitely the operating system for you. 
And for a final reason to switch to Ubuntu Touch, we have the fact that it revives old devices. Modern smartphone culture seems to be a constant cycle of waste. Every few years a brand new phone comes out that doesn't really change much and it's completely unnecessary. And then they come out, the older devices, which are oftentimes only a few years old, become obsolete for no good reason. You know, they stop getting updates and all that sort of thing. So it really is a breath of fresh air to see that Ubuntu Touch is fighting planned obsolescence. Most of the devices that are supported by Ubuntu Touch are on the older side of things and they're no longer supported officially by Android. Yet in Ubuntu Touch, they get regular official updates and they continue to run smoothly even despite their age. In fact the Ubuntu Touch device that I own is over seven years old and although it's not the fastest thing in the world it does still work and it'll probably continue to work for a few years to come. So if you're looking to cut down on e-waste or using an older device or simply want a device that's cheap because yeah devices that run Ubuntu Touch can be had for incredibly good prices, Ubuntu Touch is probably the operating system for you. And that's my top five reasons to switch to Ubuntu Touch. I really do think Ubuntu Touch is amazing and absolutely worth using. And hopefully you're convinced by these top five reasons to make the switch to it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know and I'll be sure to make more Ubuntu Touch videos in the future. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.